All right, so the idea here is to create a funnel in which whatever the account has as the custom value uh, for a URL of an image would get placed in areas that are basically images. So these image blocks would be set here uh, with no image URL, uh, but ultimately they're going to be filled with uh, custom values of the logo for the client within that specific app. So the first thing we'll need to do is add this snippet of JavaScript someplace in here um, on the page. And to do that, you just create that uh, element and then paste something like this into the page. So this is the code that goes in there. Um, I could add this to the description, no problem. And so and there's a couple things you got to do from here. The first thing is if there's multiple images uh, here, uh, go ahead and you can keep repeating these as many times as you need. Just make sure you have a comma after this section. So if you have three images, you could do, you know, copy this a third time. Uh, if you have one image, you could take this one away, uh, however you'd like to do it. But there's a couple things we need. First thing we need uh, right here is the image source code. So basically the uh, ID code for the image block that we've set up. So if we go over here and click on this broken image click uh, block and we go to advanced, you, we need this right here. So you can see we copied this, we go back into this custom editor and we pasted that right here. Okay, the second thing we need is a paragraph block that is displaying the custom value shortcode that we want to replace this with. So if we scroll down on the page, you can see that down here, there's a paragraph uh, that shows the logo image URL. Now, in this case, I have a light logo image URL and a dark. So it really depends on, uh, for me, which one I want to actually be placed inside this. Uh, right here, I have a dark uh, logo and then over here this is the light logo so I have two different versions of the logo for you you may just have one version so that's totally fine click on this so let's let's act like this is the light color version since we're doing that one on the top I'm gonna click on this go to advanced and I need this here so I need 9ZT is the ending paragraph ID tag I can come back over here and then I would paste that right here and this is saying use this short code to replace this image. And then I just keep going down the page as far as images go. So what I'll need to do now is just go down here and I could just hide these two elements by just going to elements, manage, scroll down. You can see these two are being highlighted down here. Just hide this and hide this so additional logos don't display down here on the page. Uh, and then it's all set. And then every time you create a funnel with these, the populated image will be whatever the URL is inside your custom values. So that is all.